from recruiting and consulting firm RiderFlex. I'm your host, Steve Urban, and here is your RiderFlex podcast episode of the day. And on today's episode of the RiderFlex podcast, so you got fired from your job. Well, how about trying to be honest about it? When I was 21 years old, I was fired for cussing out the police chief of the town on the sales floor in front of customers. <laughs> True story. I was a manager of a convenience store, small town America. We had gotten into an argument over one of the employees who worked for me. Anyway, a few months later, I found myself down in Dallas, Texas, interviewing for a job with a music retail chain. You know, the stores that you used to have to go to in malls to buy like CDs and cassettes. <laughs> I guess that shows how old I am. Well, during the interview, Dave asked me, he said, why'd you leave the convenience store manager job? I proceeded to tell him exactly what happened, that I had screwed up and they fired me, that I made mistakes and that I take full responsibility for them and that I learned from the entire experience. I emotionally and passionately asked for a chance to redeem myself and prove my value to another company and guaranteed that I wouldn't let him down if given the opportunity. I got the job. Why don't more people do that? Why are people so afraid of admitting a mistake and highlighting what they learned from it? Here's the deal. A good interviewer can tell when you're lying most of the time. When you say things like, well, me and my boss had a difference of opinion and it was a mutual decision for me to leave. <laughs> Anytime I hear that in an interview, I'm thinking, okay, sure. Or you say something like, well, they were making cutbacks and my position got eliminated. Nobody else's but mine. <laughs> Look, either of those might be true, but more often than not, something else happened that you're usually not sharing. I personally think it shows real character, responsibility, and courage to talk about what really happened and how you've grown from it, what you learned. It's attractive to me as an interviewer. And depending on the situation, I encourage more people to be honest and genuine during the job interview. And there is your RiderFlex tip of the day. If you think today's tip or guest interview can help someone you know, please share this with them. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The RiderFlex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviewing. You can visit RiderFlex.com to learn more about us and get information and pricing on the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.